All right, here we go. This is a ranked 2v2 on Sandrum between the Carbon team in the upper left, Bernie in the Tomcat striker, and his teammate Fist now in the Alpha striker, and their opponents, the blue team in the bottom right, ULA in the Steampunk Helix, and Lethal Poison in the Steampunk Osprey. So, two carry mechs versus uh, two strikers. So, gonna be a little bit interesting. Sandrum, very big map. Uh, not only mean that very, very big, but pretty big. I think it's roughly the same size as Star um, in terms of the overall map size. Um, oh, but oh man, I, I completely didn't realize. I forgot about the whole 20 second timer thing now. ULA going straight for a flamer drop over here, but with Bunkered Flamers in defense, Bernie uh, was luckily prepared just for that. ULA will probably not be able to get anything. Oh, that Moneymaker, okay, does get saved by Fist now. Um, Lethal Poison did come with a little bit of support, but it didn't really get them that far. They have the, the blue team has not been able to grab this bottom outpost yet. The carbon team not able to grab that top outpost yet, but they are both pretty close to it. Uh, scouting going down by, by Bernie does see that the right outpost has been pretty well defended. Uh, the Moneymaker is down there. He might have been able to snipe it since blo both of the blue team players were down there, but or down here. But it is not that far of a flight from there to there. It's, it's not that bad. Um, we do have Bernie working on the rocks here. While we do have Fist now uh, going for, finally going to be able to take that top outpost. And now B Bernie doing a scout here. Oh, and the blue team already moving out to the left to go to that bottom left outpost, uh, that bottom left corner, which is a little bit interesting to see because usually it's the other way around. Usually the uh, you know the, the top left side goes like this to the bottom corner and the, then the right side goes up like this to that top right corner. But uh, we have fights. Oh, Gemini getting Bernie killed in the, um, well, I guess on the ground. Maybe he was followed up into the air because the, uh, you know, the latency does that, or no, the targeting. If, 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 uh, if, um, if a tank has actually targeted you on the ground and you lift off while it's in the middle of its firing animation, it still will connect. I know a lot of people know about that, but not exactly the reasoning behind that, and that's pretty much exactly why um, Bernie does see that this bottom left outpost is really well surrounded by the uh, the blue team, and the Lethal Poison has this outpost pretty well covered as well. And uh, now we do have the blue team going to start working on that middle outpost. Uh, however, Bernie, with quite a lot of tanks over here, they will eventually... Okay, now the rocks do go down, and Fist now taking that top left corner, or for that top right corner, finally. And, uh, the, you know, the, the uh, income and the upkeep will be, or the, I guess, the, the unit cap will be even on both sides. 44 to 49, it's pretty even on both teams. Um, pretty typical striker and helix abilities set right now, uh, but the blue team will be able to get this middle outpost under their control pretty soon. Lethal Poison does drop a tank, back facing the T99, which is a little bit interesting. Oh, but now we do have Bernie pushing with uh, this unit cluster down to this bottom left corner. It's gonna be a little challenging to do. Uh, you know, oh, and he kind of telegraphed it there. Uh, ULA definitely saw that in his minimap and will, uh, okay, well, let's see if the Carbon team can actually do this. Uh, it doesn't really look very promising for the Carbon team. There's a lot of defensive Gemini, and both the blue blacks are here to defend. Um, all the Gemini are doing pretty well, though. Uh, let's see if the Carbon team can actually do this. They have been able to neutralize the outpost. I would expect, I would have expected uh, some of the strikers to land and shoot, but uh, Bernie killing Luke Poison in the air a few seconds ago, and the Carbon team has been able to grab this the bottom left outpost with Flamers. Uh, surprise, surprise, right, Flamers? But it does go back down to neutral pretty quickly as there were enough surrounding uh, team, you know, blue team Gemini, and now Luke Poison with a couple of Flamers of his own, but really not enough in his build queue to support this quick outpost grab. And Fist now actually has been able to, uh, I mean, with with help of his um, his his you know, his friendly units has been able to, to keep that outpost from going down to blue, or going up to blue, and more flamers getting dropped, but enough Gemini still in the area to keep that outpost under that, that carbon team's control, or at least surrounded, partially surrounded by the carbon units. And now the, these blue, blue tanks going up and then going back down, I guess Lethal, lethal Poison did, uh, you know, reassign their command, but Bernie with his striker sword will be able to handle that pretty well. And Le Fist now has been able to take this bottom left outpost as well and hold it. So the blue team uh, pretty uh, pretty behind at this point. They do have the middle outpost, yes. Uh, they might be able to get this neutralized with those flamers. This flamers is pretty much the insta neutralization tool and this top outpost is completely 100% undefended. Let's see if it goes up to blue. It does look like Fist now is coming to respond but it is probably going to be too late. Now it does completely get com taken by the blue team and units have been dropped and we already do have bunkered flamers so it doesn't look like the carbon team is going to be able to take this back under the control or even neutralize it at this point. Burning forced to retreat and uh, you know that, that helix forcing those mechs out of the area and uh, you will, uh, Lethal Poison taking a scout at that right. Um, the creeps bunching up on both sides of these rocks over here, but the Carbon team, once again, gonna reiterate they have this bottom, 
bottom left corner, and they also have this upper right hand corner, so it's uh, really good for that Carbon team. However, they did lose that top outpost, so it's pretty even still at this point. I don't think I've ever seen a map split quite like this. Both corners on one team, but the other team has been able to grab that top outpost. Um, you know, the snowballing mechanics in air mech kind of prevent that from really happening for the most part, because you usually can drop enough defense at each outpost to compensate for, um, or not, you know, to, to prevent it from getting, to prevent any of the outposts that are kind of behind your defensive, I don't know if you want to call it a line. Oh, I mean, Sandrum is pretty open, but uh, it, it, you know, the, the the fact that outposts of all kind do give you a little bit of unit cap, uh, but the carbon team now moving out. But yeah, because of that fact, you typically don't see this kind of map split. I mean, look at the mini map; it's very, very unique. Oh, Fist now doing a little bit of highlighting there, or, or mass selecting. Uh, I'm not really sure if this is going to go for capture or attack. I would assume it's set on both, so some tanks will go down. Some tanks will go right past over here, going to go for that right outpost instead. And uh, now I think this will be in the Carbon team's favor. They have a lot of units, 72 to 63. They are pretty overwhelming at this point. And uh, in terms of the abilities, both strikers are already level 7 with those rockets. So they uh, they have been able to neutralize this bottom outpost. I'm a little surprised to see that the carbon team or that the blue team hasn't used that top outpost that ha that they have under the control to put a little bit of pressure on the carbon fort. And uh, now they do have to start mounting a defense. Now we do have lethal poison dropping a couple Gemini as that Osprey will be able to keep it fairly uh, keep them alive fairly well. And uh, ULA dropping some defensive uh, Gemini as well. UL uh, Bernie and uh, and Fist now trying to get a good surround, but now decided have decided to pull their Gemini back. So they, uh, you know, <laughs> that probably wouldn't have been able to do that much damage, and the blue team ha was able to do a lot of defensive drops already. ULA now dropping a Gemini. Uh, it does hit the corner, so they, oh, well, it is going to get attacked by this Gemini, so it won't get f fire um, for that long of a time. We do have Fist now already dropping a blocking Longhorn. And now Lethal Poison uh, with this top outpost here still under their control. And ULA has some flamers. Oh, they will be able to take this left outpost uh, unless it gets unless one of the infantry gets killed. Oh, man, one flamer does go down. I would have expected Lethal Poison uh, to come with a couple of more flamers to take that outpost. And uh, now ULA grabbing creeps. Lethal Poison grabbing flamers as well. Will they be able to take this outpost? That's what they really, really need at this point because they have lost that bottom. And uh, lots of carbon tanks are over. Over here so they won't be able to grab that outpost under the control lethal poison <laughs> pausing a little bit briefly i'm assuming the type 2 is teammate ula and ula now do now doing a counter push to the left uh, i don't know that's not enough gemini i would think and the uh, okay the yeah, fist now does scout that that uh, bottom right outpost or that that right outpost is not really defended either uh, but we do have bernie does see that there is a tank push coming and uh there's definitely enough gemini here to really you know, defend. He just needs to drop a little bit of more defensive. Okay, and does drop to, to, to slash the Gemini as well. Both distracting the fire and dropping DPS down onto that unit cluster. And Fist now actually low on, really low on health, but does drop, you know, in his, in cover of his units. Oh, and these, these tanks are not going. Oh, Bernie getting finished off of those tanks are not going for that bottom outpost. It was not set on capture. Oh, and this outpost was completely abandoned, unguarded 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 by any of the carbon units because they did spend all of their units to push this way and now this Gemini line is starting to come for the Carbon Fort. Uh, it does look like Bernie will be able to scout it and realize where it's going. Oh, but will Lethal Poison? Oh, they have changed the command to T, so they will go down for this bottom outpost. Oh, man. And now the Carbon Team, or the Blue Team, has been able to grab that bottom left outpost as well. So the Blue Team making a very, very interesting comeback. Uh, oh, and now we do have the Carbon Team pushing out pretty much an all-in from the bottom. And uh, now we do have Bernie scouting the front. Uh, the, however, the Carbon team has lost this left outpost. Will the blue team bring some creeps to be able to take it back under the control? They are definitely concerned about this large tank push coming out for that right out, for that for their fort from this bottom outpost. And uh, will Fist, Fist now even use these? A double prong push. Oh, yeah, he is. A double prong push would be pretty awesome. This is a pretty good good defensive line, though. So will they be able to break it? Maybe Fist now will drop, um, you know, to slash, def to distract that fire, and maybe even ferry some over that defensive line. But now Bernie getting a pretty good surround here. Uh, already two Gemini on that uh, on that corner. And a, a third uh, tank down here at the bottom for uh, for the carbon team still ULA and lethal poison dropping as many tanks as they possibly can in defense will the will the carbon team be able to get a good enough surround to actually get the finish here it does look like they don't have very much left there is nothing left over here and so what will they be able to do here will this be able to actually get the finish here they uh, this now has plenty of credits actually to replenish this army so uh, is he actually queuing up just some longhorn they aren't really at their unit cap anymore and their attack has pretty much been shut down however the blue team is at about uh, I would say about 15 to 20 percent of their health 
and Fist now and Bernie just continually putting pressure down. However, there are a lot of defensive units here for the blue team, so uh, it's not really gonna, they're, you know, anything they drop are not gonna really last that long. And uh, still trying to get repositioning and more micro so they can actually get through these defensive units. However, it's not really working very well. It does look like that uh, ULA will decide to push out now. It's probably a good decision. They might have wanted to do that before. Uh, they really have to keep these def these uh, tanks here in defense because their life is so low. They can't really do a counter push out to this bottom left outpost um, or this bottom outpost. And ULA actually pushing from both posts. That's a lot of tanks. There is a lot of defenses here. Well, a good amount of defenses here for the Carbon team. Will the Carbon team go for a defense or will they go for the for the uh, final kill here? Bernie now dropping a Longhorn but it is getting blocked. Oh man, and another final push here by the blue team, uh, for the, by the carbon team. If this doesn't work, I kind of suspect that they will lose. Uh, however, this isn't that many tanks. Oh, there are two Gemini here at the corner, uh, but the carbon team is starting to get a better surround now. There are a lot of tanks. They might want to just concentrate them all in one single spot to break through anything that the blue team has, and they're still getting better, surra better surround. There's still a lot of holes for that carbon team. The blue team might want to wall up a little bit better, get a better surround, but the carbon team has been able to find hole after hole after hole in this defense. Uh, these two Gemini are still firing. Oh, these three Gemini are still firing on that uh, on that fort. The the Carbon team has been both finished off, so they will eventually be able to kill these. But the blue team now will be able to neutralize this bottom outpost. They, the Carbon team has nothing left. They just have this upper right hand corner. The blue team, if you look at the minimap, has complete map control, which is a little bit crazy. And Bernie going with a Gemini Fist, now going with a Longhorn. Uh, the ULA and Lethal Poison really, really need to keep an eye on their minimap because that's what they need to be concerned about. Uh, I mean, they should have probably just walled up a little bit harder, but now Bernie all the, already at the corner. He's just shooting, is doing as much damage as he can, dropping those rockets, and will he be able to get the finish here? And it does look like Carbon Team does get the win. Oh, man, if that didn't do it, if the blue team could have walled up a little bit better there at the end, the, the Carbon team probably wouldn't have been able to do that in the first place. Um, you know, but the blue team, I guess, prioritizing on being aggressive, I guess at that point, because their life was so low, they probably should have gone more defensive. No lunchbox in their loadout, however, so that was definitely a concern. I mean, that it definitely should have been a concern. Um, but Bernie and Fist now with those last minute drops, trying to, uh, you know, desperately, desperately needing that finish. And actually, if you see here, the blue team did outscore the carbon team. So a little bit interesting to see the victor was th that the victor was the carbon team. And those two large pushes from that bottom outpost finally able to do enough damage so that drops could finish it. Bernie and Fist now grabbing this ranked one 2v2 win on Sandrum over ULA and Lethal Poison. So pretty darn cool. If you guys have any great games to send to me, I, I, I gotta admit that I love Sandrum. Sandrum is a lot better nowadays because of the, uh, you know, the, the way that they changed the map so that the, um, so that Brutes are occupying that middle outpost and uh, all the other neutral starting outposts as well and corners are a lot easier to take. Sandrum is pretty darn cool. So guys, if you play any cool Sandrum games, make sure to let me know if it, <laughs> especially if you think the Aramek community would like to see it. This is RUI and that is game. See you next time.